One of my congregants asked me a question, and that is, is Tisha B'Av a happy day or sad day? On the surface, everybody knows, of course, it's the most difficult day of the year, but there's a very, very mysterious custom that we have on Tisha B'Av that we don't say tachanunim. We know every day after the Amidah, the silent prayer, the 19 blessings we say, we confess our sins and we should be very um, upset and cry. We do not do that on Tisha B'Av. And usually the days we don't say Ana is like the month of Nisan or the holidays. So Tisha B'Av is a fascinating day. It's the worst of days, but it's the best of days also. Karay Alay Mu'ed. The Prophet calls Tisha B'Av a holiday in a way. Now, how could the worst day that the Spanish Inquisition, Kristallnacht, for 2,000, for thousands, I'm sorry, more, almost 3,000 years, this day is the most infamous and horrible day, yet the Prophet says it's a holiday. So I heard something very beautiful from the Gaon, the Gadol, Rav Shmuel Kamenetsky. He brought the Debir Hagra, he explains on the Shulchan Aruch, why is the day of Tish B'Av such a day that we do not say Tachanunim? We don't confess and be um, super sad because of our sins. Because Tish B'Av gives us a tremendous, 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 tremendous insight of to how deeply God loves us. And that's why it's called Av. This month is not called the month Melech, like God is a harsh king that wants to annihilate us and throw us to the ground and we never get up. Of the, the, the love that a father has, the legacy of a father is his child, and the love that a father has for his child is so deep and unwavering, it cannot even be comprehended by anybody that hasn't experienced that relationship. The month, the white, the reason why the Gra, the great Gaon, Eliyahu Mivilna says that this day is a happy day is because we know King David has a Mizmor. He says, God, I praise you for destroying the temple. King David saw in his prophecy that the Goim, the evil Reshaim will come and destroy and annihilate and obliterate and set fire to God's temple. So the Gemara says, how could this be a Mizmor? It should be Kinale David. King David should be depressed, should be mourning like Echa. See, God loves us so much that instead of taking his anger and God forbid annihilating the Jewish nation on the day of Tisha B'Av, instead he burnt down his own temple. So can you imagine as a parable, a father wants to strike his child so strongly that the son may die because the son has been so nasty and foolish. But instead the, the father, Kibyahu, takes out his wrath on the house and sets his own house on fire. This is how deep God loves us. And that's why even though Tisha B'Av, it's true, it's the most difficult day, it's the worst day in history, but this shows us that God, whenever in life we experience pain, we should know God is there to make us and not break us. And in the end, this is the birth date of Mashiach. That's another reason why it's, on one hand, the worst of days, on one day, the happiest of days. But let's realize that God loves us in such an unwavering and deep way and this is the reason why we don't say Ana and Tisha B'Av is because rather than annihilating us because of our sins, God decided to annihilate and set fire to His own house. So may Hashem truly help us to repent, have instead of Sinat Chinam, baseless hatred, let's have, let's love and respect each other even though nobody has done us a favor the only, the Chafetz Chaim says, the way the temple will be built is when we stop the gossip and Lashon Hara and have a true unconditional love for every Jew.